the elders. See, when this civil rights movement made it possible for us to sleep in hotels and motels that we were forbidden when we were young. Some of you young people don't know what your parents went through to get you here. And parents, you made a big mistake by not telling your children what you and grandma and grandpa and great grandma and great grandpa went through so that they don't think because you got a black man in the White House that everything has changed. Well, well. Ain't nothing changed. Did you hear what I said? 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 Did you hear what I said?
a cynical bastard, you know that. To reclaim the American dream and reaffirm that fundamental truth that out of many we are one. You hear that line? Lines for you. Don't make me laugh. For one people. It's a myth created by Thomas Jefferson. Oh, now you never go with Jefferson, huh? My friend, Jefferson's an American saint because he wrote the words, all men are created equal. Words he clearly didn't believe since he allowed his own children to live in slavery. He was a rich wine snob who was sick of paying taxes to the Brits. So yeah, he wrote some lovely words and aroused the rabble and they went out and died for those words while he sat back and drank his wine and fucked his slave girl. This guy wants to tell me we're living in a community. Don't make me laugh. I'm living in America, and in America you're on your own. America's not a country, it's just a business. Now fucking pay me.
the uh, experience has been that the UK has been just behind the US in, in many uh, criminal and uh, anti-social acts, racial situations, social you know, violence, things of that nature. It's, the pattern is clear. And I think that with the crimes that you're getting on, on child offenses and rapes and, and multiple offenses of homicide, uh, as few as we have now, uh, it's more than we've had in the past. And I think we're following suit with the government.